So I'm just sitting in the shop and I'm working on these center caps off the 97 hard body and got to thinking like, what, what got me here? What got me in the hydro dipping, you know? And started thinking, man, I've been doing this since like the end of 2018, checked out of the fire department. I had been doing that for damn near 15, 16 years, had enough personal reasons, checked out, retired, made a little cash, invested in the hydro dipping. And here I am all this time later. And honestly, I thought that was going to be my gig, what I was going to be making money on. And it's really just a hobby and have a good time doing it. But I was just sitting here and I'm working on these caps. Like I said, these center caps, and we're just matching them up to the ones we did the other day, getting ready to get them onto the dip tank. And I just got back to thinking like, man, what got me here? What got me, what got me into hydro dipping, you know? And I honestly just remember like being on, on the way out of the fire department thinking like, what, what, man, what am I going to do? What am I going to do next? Like, what do I got? What do I know? I really, you know, I didn't want to check out of one fire department and, and go to another. That wasn't my issue. You know, I just was ready to be out of the service, honestly. And uh, for personal reasons, other than that, too, I just needed to be away and, and out of that, you know, 24, 48 lifestyle that I was living where I worked for at least 24 hours at a fire department. And then I would go home for two days if I was lucky and then be right back on another 24 hour shift. A lot of times we work 48s and a lot of guys, they work more than that. It's crazy out there being a firefighter. It's a great job. It was a rewarding job. Can't say I made a lot of money doing it. It was rewarding. And I saw a lot of crazy things that a lot of y'all ain't never going to see and probably never want to see. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm glad I'm out of it at this point and uh, not a whole lot of money in it. But anyway, I was checking out of the fire department. I saw some videos or something, some people hydrated up and I'm like, yeah, I want to get into that. So first thing I did was I went online, ordered me up a little online DIY hydro dip kit. And it came from this, this company. And I recommend them all the time to people that ask me questions. It's mydipkit.com. And you go in there, you can get your little dip kit. They'll send you the paint, the activator, the primer. They'll send you everything you need. Film. All you need is a bucket of water. You don't need a big tank like I ended up purchasing. And I have a small tank compared to some of these other people. But you don't have to purchase a tank. You can use a bathtub if, you're, if your family will let you have that activator smell in there. But it, literally, you can get it in a rattle can. But anyway, I got um, my stuff in a kit, ordered it up. And I think, like, one of the first things I dipped was a, I know for a fact, it was like a, a handler cover from an old Chevy air handler. And I dipped it in, in uh, actually, I dipped it in the same, same stuff I got on this stool right here this graffiti bomb stuff and man it came out sick and I was like that's for me so the next step for me was to take a little course so I drove myself down to South Florida myself and the wife we went down there took a course got certified just like I went to college took a couple day course and they checked me out certified me you know and sent me on my way and next thing I know I was incredibly financially deep in more learning than I thought because Honestly, they taught me some stuff at that place, but not enough, you know, and, and really when you're learning, you learn from, I mean, personally, I learned from maybe failure more than anything, you know, so unfortunately when you're hydro dipping and you're learning from failure, it's, uh, it's rather expensive, you know, failure can be rather expensive. Let me, I just noticed there's a little blockage here. Let me justice yeah so you know basically failure cost me a lot of money in this and you know first first couple jobs i did for you know for some friends they weren't even jobs they were just like had a couple firefighter buddies they wanted some fire helmets dipped and i'm like yeah i can do that for you i get to working on these fire helmets you know and whew, thought i knew what i was doing and i didn't know what i was doing and it was like honestly a couple of thousands of dollars later and I still didn't know what I was doing but I finally got the fire helmets done I did one in an autism print that I had the custom order so every time I would dip this helmet like three times I would be out of the roll and then I would have to order it again and it was super expensive because it was a custom order so I would have to well, I ended up ordering it like three times maybe four I can't remember it was a lot my wife was not stoked it cost me a lot of money then the next helmet I did a bunch of like flags all over it 
and it took me several times and also cost me quite a bit of cash my light is off y'all gonna have to excuse that flash twice now i tried to fix it and we'll go ahead and run with it so color might be off a little bit in this one this is new this is a new setup i got here and still trying to figure it out honestly so we got these center caps we're working on today taped off i got it i just was making a little handles right now while we're talking but i got them taped off and we're going to dip them here in a few i just figured i'll talk to y'all a little bit about why i got into this why i'm getting ready to get into this so anyway i got them fire helmets done and i was doing them for basically not even basically i was doing it for free and that's cool and i wanted to do them as a gift so i got them done handed them off took on you know a couple more projects did like a shotgun barrel holder you know i've done a couple handguns i did some stuff like that some some little projects some car parts some stuff like that and i still here and there take on some small projects for friends will be like oh can you dip this for me can you dip that for me like recently i did you know motorcycle gas tank i did some some uh, fenders for one wheel thing and uh you know a couple other things here and there i do you know maybe a couple couple parts for some pieces here and there but uh, mainly it's just a hobby and honestly i like making videos more than i like doing this for money because while i'm out here making videos and i mess up learning like i'm still learning ever since 2018 i'm obviously a slow learner but uh if i mess up it don't matter because it's just for video content and i can throw that out honestly i have dipped so many things at this point my garage is full of all kinds of things i've done halloween masks like costume masks hundreds of them hundreds of masks tons of like construction helmets at this point i've done hand saws like vintage hand saws tons of tumblers rocks i've done fruit hot wheels boat parts car parts toys i mean paintball parts you you name it i've tried it like i've dipped wood like all kinds of stuff shells off the beach i've done it all at this point but anyway so it's become more of a hobby for me i started like a tiktok you know a long time ago probably it's been probably like a couple two three years now I had like a TikTok going and I got a pretty good following on there. You can check me out. Same name if you ever want to go in there and look at it. And I keep it kind of funny on there. I try to keep it funny. And uh, I don't know. I feel like TikTok is like this, man. Sometimes it's hidden. Sometimes it ain't for me. And it's whatever. You know, I just enjoy making videos. When I was a fireman, I filmed literally everything that I could legally. And uh, I just love it. I love making video content, even if I ain't that great at it. I don't know. I just like filming and recording and going back and sometimes I just, you know, I, I, I watch my own video <laughs> constantly. Like I go back and check out myself and I'm like, eh, at least I can entertain myself, you know, and when I'm bored, I can go back and see something that I did, you know, but uh, I have a good following and I appreciate those that are checking me out and commenting and coming back and checking me out. That's super cool. You know, I, I appreciate that people come back and check out what I'm doing and you know, I have some people on here that comment all the time, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you always being on here, for real. So what I'm doing now is I got my film. Now, I had I had recently purchased like three rolls of film for some videos, and my main goal was to get a lot of things dipped for my little pickup truck that I'm trying to turn into like a lowrider show truck, whatever, on a low budget. But anyway, I picked up some stuff three rolls of film they're not very big and they're cheaper rolls and i'm pretty much burned through them all i got this piece left right here and i'm crossing my fingers that it's going to work on these center caps i've done these center caps now talking about talking about learning i these little center caps i've done these little plastic center caps i did them in a anime film twice ran out of that film then i had a little bit of like this alligator skin film didn't work that's three times and then i got this artillery film that i have on here now which came out super dope and on a couple of these if you look i left i left a little anime in there as just a you know a, this is just a little reminder to myself of the hassle i go through sometimes to make these videos and to just be out here hydro dipping and the financial burden that i go through buying this film sometimes even though it's cheap when you run through it and you blow through two rolls of film and get nothing done that's like you might as well flush money down the toilet 
which will clog your drain. So I don't recommend you flush your money down the toilet. Anyway, I got this cut out and we're going to move it over onto the dip tank. So a lot of times people will get into my comment section and be like, oh, you know, this is a good gig. I want to do it. Do you make a lot of money? And for me, I want to just be like, I mean, no, no, not, not for me. It's not, I, you know, on a daily, I'm out digging dirt. And currently it's 112 with the index outside. So it's hot. And for me, this is not a good gig as far as making money. But I need to tell you that I'm a terrible money chaser. I hate chasing money. I would much rather just go work and make the money. It's easier than I feel trying to run a business, which I've tried to do several times. And it's just not, it's just not in me. Some people don't have it in them to run a business successfully. And I have now in my older years become cool with that. Like I understand that I need to grind for somebody that knows how to chase money because I can't chase money. I can make videos and even question myself on those sometimes, but you know, so as far as the hydro dipping goes, I got into it early, early on, like 2019. I was like, yeah, this is, this is going to be it for me. This is what I'm going to do. And by mid 2019, I was like, nah, this, this ain't going to be it. And by 2022, I had accepted the fact that, you know, this is a hobby. This is a hobby for me. I make a little bit of money here and there, but it doesn't even, it's never made up for what I've invested into this altogether. I currently probably have close to $15,000 into everything in since the end of 2018 to current now money on everything that I've bought to dip, film, chemicals, you know, items, mess ups, you name it. I have, I have spent some cash and my wife might argue that I have spent more than that, you know, so I'm going to get this film on the water, stop yapping. And we're going to hydro dip these center caps and hope they come out right. So I post a lot of these dip videos on my shorts because I feel like people like watching them real quick. Like, but what I'm doing right here is I'm laying this film on top of this water and this film is going to sit on top of this water for about one to two minutes. It kind of varies depending on the film. So my goal was not to have any water on top of the film, which I succeeded in. I do have a couple of air pockets and have some wrinkles in my film. And this film being cheaper is not real durable once you get it on the water. Can't work with it very much. I can move it a little bit, but I can't really do a whole lot with it. But I have enough film here to when I activate it, I should have enough room to dip these two little center caps. Now, like I said, I've said that several times and I, I will say the first, the first time and the second time, they were both on me. Like I, I knew both times and really the third time. I knew every time that they weren't going to work, but I went ahead and pushed through anyway because sometimes I'll do that and it'll magically work. But those three times it did not, no magic, no magic happens. Now, what's happening right now is there's a bunch of graphics sitting on a piece of plastic. And that plastic touches this water, it starts to dissolve. And it's going to sit for a couple minutes. It's going to wrinkle, it's going to unwrinkle, it's going to wrinkle, it's going to expand, whatever. And what's happening is that plastic is dissolving, dissolving, and I'm going to come in with an activator, which is a chemical that I buy. And it's basically going to release the graphics off of the plastic that's left that hasn't dissolved yet. And then it's just going to be graphics floating on water. You can almost not see it most of the time. If I hit it with the activator correctly, you shouldn't see it in the video. You should almost, it should just look like water floating here once I activate it. Even though you saw me put a sheet down, you should just see water. So I'm gonna activate this film and then we can dip. I have about 30 seconds once I activate it to get my items dipped and get a good dip out of it. So I've got a couple good areas here. It don't really matter. Sometimes it matters which way you go, but being that these are center caps on some wheels, they're just gonna spin. So it really don't matter which angle I hit. At some point in time on the vehicle, they're going to be sitting upright and all the vehicles that are on this film, it's like an artillery vehicle film. All the vehicles are going to be looking upright. So I'm going to get them dipped. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, the activator comes in all sorts of forms. I have mine currently in the compressor right here. I have just a little bit left, just a little bit left. There's several tons of different kinds of activators out there. Uh, have some in a rattle can. 
this is this is paint but i get some in a rattle can looks just like this just like this and you can just spray it all over watch plenty of videos of people doing it that way i've done it that way recently i dug a hole in the dirt and made a video of me doing that you'll have to check that out. i think i just did a little short of that it's really good and it reminded me of them guys who were out there digging the lagoons in the dirt except i just dug a dip tank and i dipped a, a cup in it you know i rolled a tumbler let's activate this film i got this at 50 psi we're gonna hit it hopefully cover this evenly and be ready to go now what i'm looking for is a nice gloss over and i'll be quite honest with you I feel like it's a little under activated. I'm going to wait a little bit. Hopefully it'll do its thing. And I'm going to grab these center caps and get to it. <clears throat> Should I wear a mask? Yo, yeah. Especially talking. I can't, matter of fact, I can't talk to you right now. I'm going to dip these. Nice and easy. A little bit of an angle. Kind of pushing forward. As you go in that film was under activated not gonna lie again again I know I'm gonna have a piece of film that might come off of here but all in all right now I'm gonna let them sit I'm gonna let see I have to rinse these but all in all they came out looking they came out looking good everything bonded well I'm gonna let them sit for like Probably 20 minutes before I rinse them. Sometimes I do it rinse right away because you got to rinse this gunk off. And the longer you wait, the harder it is to come off, the longer it takes. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it sit because sometimes the longer you sit, the better the bond is. So I'm going to bring them over and show them to you. It was a successful dip as long as this all stays on after I rinse it. And check that out. Now they came out, they came out well. They came out pretty well. It's so frustrating sometimes when you're doing this and you're watching this go down and as as much failure as I had, I really, I really celebrate the success. So when I have an item that comes out well, and I have a lot that comes out well, don't get me wrong, but uh it's always still fun for me. So that's why, you know, that's what makes it a hobby. If it ain't fun, it ain't a hobby. You know, if it's costing you money and it ain't bringing you any joy then i'll say that's not a hobby but anyway so anyway i'm gonna get those rinsed off in like 20 minutes and tomorrow i'll get some clear coat on there and soon i'll get them back on the truck and i appreciate you watching and listening to my nonsense make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you feel like it and as always i wish you a stellar day